some very cool improvements in subdivision surfaces. First of all in the display here we have just 350 triangles. Pressing plus on the keyboard we can now see the polyhull mesh together with the underlying uh, structure underneath and where the detail is going. Press again, 5,000 triangles, 22, 90,000 triangles. So you can see this is also shows massive performance improvements. For the actual display mode we have a simplified subdivided wireframe so now we can just see it uh, underneath very nice and plain also we can actually take the poly mesh hull off so now it looks more like a surface object but the beauty is it's still a polygon so we can start to do normal editing in this case even with a 90,000 triangles I'm going to do like a extrude along an axis here I'll just push that out somewhere around there uh, put a couple of subdivisions in there, uh, rotate it around a bit, or something like that. Maybe just sort of plop it down like so. Maybe just move it out. But here we go. I can still add detail in this way. So here we are. Bridge polygons, kablamo. So now I've created a handle all the time while editing in uh, 90,000 triangles. So it's nearly 100,000 triangles now. If I were to just grab these polygons and uh, now tag points here working proportionally I'll just move it up like this so still editing a hundred thousand triangles without any delay inside here we can see my proportional model and I can start to just play around and pull it around like so don't forget all our proportional models have this fall off control for uh, extra control so new display modes as well as uh, huge performance improvements for making uh, working a lot easier for the hulls and the meshes really designed now to be better than NURBS subdivision surfaces